Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. For a first guys, yeah, I've been looking on YouTube and seeing all my favourite content makers making collections videos. Um, and I've never done one guys, so on the back of watching uh, Bin Boot Sale Pickings video and uh, the Retro Bear and so on, fantastic content makers, both of them absolutely fantastic. Do yourselves a favour and go over there and have a look at them both. I'll link them in the... Uh, description guys yeah uh bin book sale picking has just done a psp one so i thought you know what i'm going to copy him sorry i thought i can't help it i love the psp uh, and i'm going to start my very very first uh series if you like doing collections videos and i'm going to start with the psp guys so yeah jumping on the back of watching some of the videos today uh i thought you know with all this bloody virus crap going on you know We've all got a bit more time on our hands. Um, well, actually, I haven't really had a lot of time on my hands at all. In fact, I've had no time on my hands because I work in retail and so does my partner. Um, but I finally got a couple of days off. I've been off today and I'm off tomorrow, guys. So I don't have to go to bed at the flipping early evening to be up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. So I'm going to do my very first collection video on the PSP. So anyway, guys, here goes. Uh, I'm hoping this won't be a two-parter, but I'm not going to open them all up and show you the insides because that would just be plain silly, wouldn't it? Because that really would end up being about free bit, free parter or something, you know. So I'm just going to show you what I've actually got. Uh, we'll start with UMDs, guys, with the films. Uh, well, first of all, actually TV shows I'm going to start with. So here goes, guys, for my very first collections video. And it's my PSP collection, which... Uh, again as i always say in my videos this isn't all of it because a lot of it's stored in the back of this lot here i have another room in the back of there with bloody boxes full of stuff but this is what i can get to guys this is what i've got on display at the moment so here goes guys here goes guys even yeah so first of all uh tv shows as i say and the first one is family guy stewie griffin the untold story there we are it's that one and the back there we are next we have a very interesting one actually i like this because it's one of these uh you know very rare for the umds to have this you know it's the multiples in there of a tv show and it's 24. there we are and that is season season one guys so yeah the first one first season but I do like that, where it's, you know, all these different, yeah, and it all unfolds and everything, yeah. Obviously, we haven't got time to show you that now. But there we are, 24. And we have something I, I still, to this day, put this on every now and then and laugh my bloody ass off. I love these. And it's uh, Little Britain, and this is the complete first season. Of course, this is a two-disc, I do believe. Yeah, two discs, yeah. I absolutely love this still, to this day. David Williams. And Matt Lucas at the best. Oh, they were brilliant. They really were. There we are. And Little Britain. This is the complete second season. I do believe that this is only one disc, though. I'm going to open that one. Yes, it's only one disc on that one. So, yeah. Absolutely fantastic and so funny still to this day. I wish they would get their act together and make some more. I really, really do. They were bloody brilliant. Certain kind of twisted sense of humour, shall we say. Right, on to films, guys. Right, and I'm just going to fly through these, as I say. We have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Whatever it's pronounced. There we are. And we have The Dark Knight, guys. Brilliant film, that. And we have... That is Stealth. And it has a, uh, interestingly, a Wipeout Pure demo on there as well, which is uh, hmm, unusual. And we have Simpsons, the movie. 
or Simpsons, The Simpsons movie. It's the one with Spider Pig, isn't it? Spider Pig. Yeah. We have a Resident Evil uh, Apocalypse. Brilliant. I absolutely love the Resident Evil games and I absolutely love the Resident Evil films. Yeah, brilliant. And we have, we all sticking together, uh, Sunshine. Then we have a very Christmassy one here, Elf. Chicken Run. The director's cut, Dawn of the Dead. I love horror horror films. Oh, they are my favourite genre of film and my favourite genre of game as well. And we have another cracking funny as oh it's so bloody funny to this day. South Park Bigger Louder Uncut. Brilliant, so funny. Especially the Saddam Hussein bit. Oh crack. White noise. Dark water. Brilliant. Then we have Spider Man. Spider Man 2. Spider Man 3. The Transporter. Final Fantasy, uh, what is it called again? Advent of the Children. Something like that, isn't it? Advent Children. Something like that, yeah. There we are. Then we have The Matrix of Revelations. Fantastic Four. Bit of a Marmite one, that, isn't it? Some people hate it and some people love it. Terminator Salvation. Aliens vs. Predator. Uh, Requiem. The Wedding Crashers. Good old fashioned comedy. Constantine. Brilliant film, that. Absolutely love it. Especially when he, he sucks the tar out of his lungs. Oh, it's brilliant. Kingdom of Heaven. Donnie Darko. Very surreal, but I love it. It's considered a horror film, but... Mm. And The Descent, guys. That is the last of the uh, UMDs. Brilliant film, that. Again, classic. So, yes, guys. That was all the uh, TV shows and uh, films that I have on UMD. I'm going to be back in a sec with the games. Right, guys, now for the bigger section. Uh, I didn't have, I, well, I don't have a lot of UNDs full stop, really, um, because I've only just started really picking them up. Um, now for the bigger section, the games, guys. And we'll start with uh, a couple of uh, more interesting titles, shall we say, because they're like collector's editions. And the first one is Mortarstorm Arctic Edge Collector's Edition. That has got that lovely, 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 lovely um, cover on it. Obviously, it's a... Cardboard Collector's Edition and the, the proper games in there. Look, there we are. So yeah, fantastic game that and a fantastic Collector's Edition. And then we have, I call this, a, it's not a Collector's Edition, this is how it came, but it's the uh, in, uh, Invisimals, the one with the camera guys, the big box. 
with the uh, PSP camera in there, as you can see there. Again, very interesting little box set that. Lovely to get it complete. Yeah, I was very pleased to get that. It's dirt cheap, guys, but it's a fantastic one to have with the camera. That's that one. So that's them two. Then we have, I'll get this one out of the way. Now this is one that's got a replacement cover and I love this. I kept this particularly because it's got a game station replacement cover with it. And of course, that's part of retail history, isn't it, these days? Game station. Long, long, long gone. We're bought out by game a long time ago, guys. So yeah, very interesting to have that old replacement case there. And it is inside Manhunt 2. It even comes with a book, just not the pocket case. I could have printed one off by now and put my own in there, but I love having that game station case. So that's got him out of the way. Right. Then we have a couple of the PSP essentials. So I'll get them out of the way as well. Uh, the first one is um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. There we are. And uh, we have Despicable Me. That's the only two essentials that I have, well, out anyway. Uh, so next we're going to do the Platinum. Uh, some of these have got the prices on the front, some of what I paid for them originally, like this one here, the 99p. Uh, Medal of Honor Heroes. Now some of these you will see repeats of because I've got the black label as well. Sonic Rivals. Grand Theft Auto and Vice City Stories. Bloody fantastic game, that. Tomb Raider Legend. That's got a price on it in 199 there, cash converters. <laughs> yeah. God of War, Chains of Olympus. 99p on that one. Look. Wow, that was a fantastic price to pay for that bloody game, I tell you. Even on platinum. Right, now we're going to move on to black label, guys, because that's all the platinums uh, that I have out anyway. Right, let's just get a little bundle together here. Right, here go the black labels. This is the biggest lot, guys. Um, Midnight Club 3, dub edition. You can see that price. 50p for this fantastic game. Ha. Huh. And we have, uh, yeah, Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. 50p again, guys. Unbelievable. Cash converters, wait, they're fantastic sometimes. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Yeah, I do believe that's a reprint cover. Yes, look at that, there's the keck symbol. Yeah, that's the reprint cover on that one, guys. I thought I'd point that out. Uh, Luminous, the uh, Puzzle Fusion. Oh, I love this game so much. And the PS, the PS Vita version is fantastic as well. There we are. Brilliant. Then we have uh, a sports title, PES 6, Pro Evolution Soccer. Then we have, oh, fantastic racing game. Guys, you know I love my racing games, and you're going to see quite a few of them here. Uh, Gran Turismo. The real driving simulator. Oh, awesome bloody game, that one. Another sports title, Football Manager Handheld. That's about right, the bloody price. No, I'd rather pay less than that, really, to be fair. Yeah. Then we have uh, another sports title, FIFA 06. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. Another racing game. Let's stick into another one. Uh, we have Burnout Legends. Then we have Iron Man. Next we have another racing game. It's actually fantastic, this, isn't it? Disney all over again. Sometimes they make some stonking games. And it's Cars. It's really fun. If you give it a chance, really, really fun, guys. Then we have Tom Clancy Rainbow Six and Vegas. Again, fantastic game. Oh, this is a. Ooh, I love this game so much. Secret Agent Clank. Oh, I love it. 
really do platforming at its best then we have a uh, card game uh poker oh, sorry world championship poker too get it right and we have another sports title guys but oh, i love tennis games guys i really do and this is virtual tennis three wow i love these virtual tennis games sega are fantastic at making tennis games they really are they just are then we have another racing classic or oh, wipeout pure fantastic game uh ghost to go <laughs> probably never going to play it but it's part of the collection then we have archie mclean's mercury we do have the double pack to this with Mercury Meltdown, but I don't know what I've done with it. It's probably in the bloody storage. There we are. There's the uh, Mercury on its own, anyway. Now, this is an interesting one. It's not really a game, this one, but I've, I've included it here because it's the only one I've got. Anyway, and this is a language thing because it's Passport to Rome. But it's not a language thing, is it? I think it tells you about the country. I've never, never used it. I, I wouldn't have a clue. But it's Passport to Rome, guys, anyway. I think it tells you about the city, doesn't it? Ben 10, uh, a protector of Earth. Mm. Ben 10, alien force. Mm, again. Uh, this is a you know really really fun games these um my kids love them they love to sit in the living room together usually with the uh, ps2 or whatever and the buzzers <laughs> uh this is buzz Qu uh, master quiz i used to play them for hours uh here we have another sports title guys but wrestling games are fun uh smackdown versus raw 2008 Featuring, what was it? Uh, 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 uh. Featuring the ECW. There we are. Right, then we have uh, MX versus ATV Reflex. Love the cover on this one. I always have loved the cover on this one. Love it. Don't know what it is about it. I just love it. Hmm. Yeah. Another racing game, of course. Oh, another fantastic game, guys. Micro Machines V4. Oh, this is awesome. Right. And another tennis one, guys. Virtua Tennis World Tour. Brilliant. Once again. Especially on the Vita, you can't go wrong with Virtua Tennis. Right, next, we have a collection one, guys. Uh, Capcom Classics, Capcom Classics, did I say that right? I don't know. Anyway, Capcom Classics Collection. There we are. Fantastic bloody collection, this. These are so worth picking up, guys, because you've got so many games in one hit, haven't you? Uh, let's see if they have a list there, if they do. Hopefully that's focusing in and you can pause and have a look. There we go. Fantastic, these. Really, really, I can't highly recommend them enough. And here's another one, guys. Uh, this one is the Namco Museum Battle Collection. There we are. And again, if you can have a list on there. I'm not too sure if there's a list there or not. Let you have a look. Pause it and have a look if you want. There we are. Uh, this one's a fantastic game as well. I used to play these on PC. Uh, Mist. Also got that on the Saturn. Fantastic uh, franchise. If you like that kind of thing, of course, it's a bit Marmite again, isn't it? Uh, uh, where are we? Echo Chrome. That's a bit of a weird title, that one. But fantastic to have it in the collection. There we are. Very cheap, that one, about 50p, I believe. Uh, Rock Band Unplugged. Uh, but again, one of my favourite games, um, well, platform games on the Dreamcast. I know I'm a bit weird. I love this game. And it's uh, KO Challengers 
it's uh, KO the Kangaroo on the uh, Dreamcast, but this is KO Challengers. I do believe it's a kind of like racing type game or something. I haven't actually played it, guys, to be fair. I'm going to have to boot it up one day and have a look. I do believe it is a maybe a racing style game. Yeah, it does look like it, guys. I might be wrong, though, completely. So who knows? But it's fantastic to have it. Then we have a sports title, guys. It's Brian Lara, 2007, Pressure Player. Oh, this is awesome, this game, guys. This one is brilliant. Uh, Crush. Brilliant game. Oh, here we go again, guys. Oh, awesome franchise. Monster Hunter Freedom. I can't think how you pronounce it. Aragon. Aragon. Very cheap one again, guys, to pick up. Fun game, though. Fun enough. Then we have another um, Buzz one, guys. Buzz Master Quiz again. So I do believe I have that twice. Oh, well. Was it the Master Quiz, the other one? Let's have a look. I've got to have a look now. Yeah, we got it double. Oh, well. We have Driver 76. Again, fantastic. Uh, Scooby Doo, who's watching you? And I've got a price of one ninety nine on the front of that one there. Do believe in uh, CX? It sells for a fair bit more, like a fiver or so, six pound maybe. Yeah. Then we have a Tekken Six. Again, fantastic game. Look at the cover on that, even with that big bloody horrible sticker on there. Look. Yeah, fantastic. And it has a piece of hair attached to it. Ah, there we go. Right then. Medal of Honor Heroes 2. Came with a dirty great sticker on where I haven't uh, bothered to take them off yet, but I will in the end one day. Maybe. <laughs> and we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Essentials. 99p I paid for this one. Wow. There we are, fantastic. And then we have cars again. So I've got that double as well. So you can see where these are going to be going in the end for a giveaway, aren't they? These doubles. But yeah, I've got that double. And we have, oh, fantastic game. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Daxter. Love that game so much. Fantastic. Then we have a sports title, guys. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour, or six. Another sports title, guys, but a fantastic one. Uh, everybody's golf. They are so fun. Oh, this is an awesome game, guys. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Bit of a different take on Monkey Ball. I do love it, though. Oh, again, awesome, awesome franchise. This side from Filter, Dark Mirror. What a fantastic franchise! Right back from the beginning in there on the PS One. Yeah. And we have Championship Manager. So it's another sports title, guys. And another sports title, guys. And this is a 2006 FIFA World Cup. If you're going to collect it all, you've got to get them all, haven't you? Mm. And another Ben 10 one, guys. Uh, ben 10 Protector of Earth. I do believe this might be a double as well. I'm not going to dig it out to check, but yeah, might be. Another sports title, guys, with Football Manager Handheld 2012. Save some room here. Uh, Aliens vs Predator Requiem. Lovely cover on that one, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. At 300. 50p. Wow. Another classic uh, collection, guys, here. The, this is the uh, Tato Legends Power Up. 
getting awesome these collections where you have so many games on one uh one thing you know one umd uh, there we go i don't know if you can you want to pause that and have a look yeah yeah it tells you oh they're all on there all the classic ones yeah fantastic bloody fantastic thing that is then we have a sports title pez 2008 Another sports title with World Soccer, sorry, World Tour Soccer Challenge Edition. And here we have Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, and I paid two ninety nine for that one. Hmm. Is that a double as well, Cam? No, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, like I said, you've probably seen doubles here because you know you know what I'm like. Uh, free running. Very interesting little title that one. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing. Love this game so much. Uh, football. Managers, another sports title, Football Manager Handheld 2007. Pimp My Ride. <laughs> now this is another one of these interesting one guys. Um, uh, let's have a look inside. Yeah, this has got the camera with it as well guys. So I should have been with the other lot when I did the uh, the ones at the beginning. Uh, this is Talk Man. Talk abroad with PSP. This is one of those mic things, you know, that's supposed to you know, do like the language and stuff like that. But yeah, very interesting little thing, this, because it's worth picking up just for that, guys. Look, that microphone there. Wicked, wicked getting that in there. So yeah, I was really, really stoked to get that at the time. I remember thinking, well, at least I've got the mic, even if I never use a bloody thing yeah brilliant that one ape academy fantastic franchise again anything to do with uh, ape escape Whoa. racing game again guys juiced eliminator brilliant uh batman and the video game 99p Oh, another fantastic franchise, guys. Resistance Retribution. Brilliant, brilliant franchise, this one. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, another Disney one, guys. Wally. The Hustle. Detroit Streets. Full game. So kind of a sports title. So a good one. And we have Alien Syndrome. Oh, I loved this franchise back in the day. Wicked. And I love that cover. Something so classic about it, isn't it? About this cover. Really, really nostalgic looking cover. Siphon Filter, Logan's Shadow. As I was saying earlier about this franchise, I love it. Pursuit Force. This is a fantastic game. You know, you've got the racing element and then you've got the jumping onto the different cars and what have you. Wicked game. Gangs of London. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant game. We have a uh, State Shift. Another, uh, yeah. Fantastic title here. One that's a bit under the radar, this one. Avatar the Game. 50p I paid for that one. It's alright for what it is. Mm, you know, you play it once maybe. <laughs> B-Boy. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them. Probably never play it, but you know. Maybe once, just have a little punt at it. 
And this is brilliant, this game. It's like a, oh, a puzzler, rhythm puzzler. Every extended extra. Fantastic game. Really, really fantastic. If you see this, grab it. It's fantastic. And a grip shift. Again, fantastic uh, racing game. Brilliant. Nice elements to it. Really, really nice elements to it. And funny enough, it was one of the first games, um, well, first racing games, the actual first racing game I had was Ridge Racer on the PSP, but uh, this was one of the first ones I had after that. A very, very uh, oh, underrated game again. Not really talked about. Speaking of Ridge Racer, here we have Ridge Racer 2. Brilliant. Namco at their best. There we have. Uh, see what I mean about racing games in May. Oh, God. Uh, Street Racing LA Jewel. Brilliant. Now, you'd think I love bloody sports titles and all, but I just want them in the collection because they're there to grab. Uh, Pez 2008 again. So I think we've got this one double again, guys. I'm sure I showed this one already. Yeah. Then we have another collection, guys. This is an interesting one because it's a Capcom Puzzle World. It's a collection of all different kinds of puzzle games. Uh, fantastic. Really, really nice little collection if you like puzzlers. And it's got the old Game Station sticker on it there. Look at that. Yeah, bloody brilliant. Never going to take that off. See, some stickers I just don't take off because they've got history to them. Yeah, bloody fantastic, isn't it? And we have Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Brilliant game. I love them. I love Assassin's Creed games. Again, a bit of a Marmite thing, isn't it? A lot of people hate them. Uh, Tiger Woods... PGA Tour 2007, so another sports title, guys. Again, you might have seen some of these already. I really don't know. I can't keep track. Um, Test Drive Ultimate. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I love it. Yeah, Test Drive Ultimate. Unlimited, sorry, Unlimited. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely love it. Love this bloody game to bits. Uh, <laughs> Street Riders. Again, it was actually surprisingly bloody fun, this one. I'd never heard of it when I got it. And uh, yeah, it is bloody fantastic. I like it anyway. Uh, Twisted Metal Head On. Another fantastic one. Uh, Mod Nations Racer. It's another fantastic kart racing type game. Bloody awesome franchise this. Again on the Vita. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, brilliant title. Isn't it? And we have Patapon. And finally, I'm looking around, just making sure. Yep, finally, guys, we have Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Party Edition. Yep. So, that's that, guys. That's all the ones I can get to anyway. I have got a shit ton more of them. But as I say, they're buried away. But these are all the ones that I have on display and I can actually get my hands on right now. So, yeah, that is my PSP collection, guys part of it um i hope you enjoyed this video it's the first time i've done one like this just literally on the back of other people doing them and me enjoying watching them especially retro bear and uh yeah and so on um bin boot sale picking yeah fantastic fantastic video so it spurred me into doing my psp one um and yeah i'm going to do more of these in the future guys i shall cover the ps2 and ps3 and so on and so on and so on so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like and subscribe and tap that bell icon to be uh, informed of any upcoming collection videos, I suppose. Don't forget guys, we're in the final days now of my giveaway. Um, I'm giving away a red Nintendo DS Lite with a Magic R4 card in the back. 
Um, so yeah, if you want a chance of winning that, just head over to my library and go to my um, giveaway collection videos uh, and go on to the video where it is actually the red DS light and comment on there. You can say whatever you like. Hello, goodbye, whatever, you know, you're a divvy. Um, yeah, whatever you put uh, is fine. Uh, you must be a subscriber. That is the only uh, other rule. So the two rules, one comment per person. And you're, you must be a subscriber, guys. And uh, on the 30th, me and Josh are going to pick the winner and film it and let everybody know who the lucky little jammy sod is. Yeah, that's how it's going to go, guys. So, yeah, on the 30th, we'll pick the winner. Anyway, with that, guys, that was my uh, first collections video. And I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed it. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. And goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.